Uh, welcome to another tutorial. We're going to make your own static mesh. Well, the first thing what you need to do is uh, make a picture of every side of what you are going to make. So I'm gonna make this thing, cool best uh, stuff. So I made a picture of every side. Well, uh, once you have done that, you can start making the model in Maya. So here we have Maya. Uh, I made uh, my grids already set up for Unreal. So, well, uh, first we'll start with a cube, then drag it up a bit. Oh, it's a little bit small, so I have to make it a little bit larger. Once you have done that, you can just change the size if you're not very happy with it. So, like I am, I'm going to change the size a bit, because I'm not very happy with it, the way it looks. Alright, once we have done that, we need to make a, a small thing for upside. I'm not totally sure how you call that, but let's call it a button for now. Oh, I still have to snap to the grid, so I have to make it again. Alright, and once I have done that, you can just drag it into your... Uh, can you drag it on top of the fuck drinking? Alright, this looks alright, but it's a bit big, so I have to uh, scale it a bit. And once we have the texture around it, you can see it a lot better than uh, right now, so... Okay, once you have it in the right location, uh, we are going to apply the texture. So for this we need to right mouse, go to face, and then just click the face you want to apply the texture to. And then right mouse on the face, uh, assign new uh, material, uh, Lambert, then go to color, and then uh, file and then find the picture that you have for it so for this we need the uh, front I have to loop what I uh, saved it as oh, it's the front, ok then open the front as you can see the texture doesn't fit nicely on the face so we have to uh, click the face, create UF, plan near mapping now you can actually just scale the face the texture of the face to uh, your liking So. I just scale it like this, it doesn't have to be perfect for this tutorial, so ah, it looks okay. Once we have done that, we can just do the same to all the other sizes. So, so right mouse again, assign the material, Lambert, a color for uh, then the fall. Make sure it is normal, not uh, projected. Once I have projected it, it was uh, really strange. So. And we're going to apply the front size, create UF, planar mapping. And then you can just scale it again. You can also uh, rotate it with the left bo button. That you see, uh, you see uh, a red sign. You can rotate it with that. I will show you later on. Scale it. Move the bit up. I guess I will speed up this because uh, yeah, it's pretty boring to watch all this. Just make sure you apply the texture to all the sides. Once you have done that, we can uh, uh, start texturing the bottom and the top. I have to speed it up a bit so I won't uh, be going over the 10 minutes. So. The top and the bottom is actually just the same like all the others. Uh, just when uh, you see the top, you can see where actually the button has to be going. So we just have to move it to the right location. To do this, just right mouse uh, object mode and then click the object and move it to the right location. Scale it a bit so it will fit nicely. Well, that's all that there is to it. I wasn't very happy with the way it looked, so I'm going to change it a bit. Once you are happy with the way it looks, you can move down to the bottom. Uh, now I will show you how to be able to rotate your uh, your texture. This is useful because sometimes you don't have, like uh, me, 
a very uh, static uh, picture, uh, like more like a rotated picture. So you can just rotate it in Maya. So first you will just have to look at your picture again, apply. Uh, now we're going to scale it. Okay, now you can see that the picture picture isn't uh, very uh, very nice looking. So we have to rotate it. Oh yeah, first I tried this, but this didn't really work well. So I just uh, used this again. So d with this thing you can just rotate the uh, rotate the texture. It's very useful. Okay, now it just fits nicely. So once you click again on this. Uh, left button you can just uh, scale it again so now it fits perfectly I'm very happy with the way it looked but we still need uh, a texture for the button or on top of the so I'm just gonna make a new GIMP uh, picture we don't need a very big size so like uh, 128 is enough or if you want to go low you can also uh, just I'm just gonna need a blue a blue picture so uh, supply the blue to uh, to the size just save it as a stage out and once you have done that you can just uh, apply it to the to the button we made on top of the drinking pot assign new material. Lambert, file, oops, that uh, went a bit wrong, so I have to do that again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, file, then the blue one. Alright, it looks alright. The blue is a bit off, but uh, this is just a tutorial, so it doesn't really matter that much. Move to the right location. Uh, we're gonna smooth it a bit. Uh, you can just uh, change your smooth settings. Uh, I think this looks nicely move the bit in the, in the pack so doesn't so you don't see space between uh, the pack and the bottom okay once we've done that I'm gonna save it so uh, I still have it as a backup and now we are going to export it what you have to do is select everything you can either do this like this or you can just object mode shift and then hold the, click the other one then we're gonna export with actor X Okay, make sure you click uh, select item only, use the normally name and file name and auto triangulate. I always use this and this works best for me, so... And export the mesh and save to the desktop. Okay, now we are done with Maya, so now you can open Killing Floor uh, Map Editor. I'm gonna make a small room first, so I will speed this up. So once we have made a room, we are going to need to import the textures first. So import, find your texture. I have them saved in here. Just shift click them all. Uh, you can save them as my level package. So I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, the, the group you're gonna name whatever you want. Okay. And you can okay to all. Ok, now you have all the textures inside your my level. Now the e it's just very easy, now we all you have to do is import the static mesh and the texture will automatically apply to the static mesh. So I have my static mesh on the dead desktop. Uh, I'm just gonna open it, save it as my level, uh, package, and then we're gonna name the static mesh, drinking whatever you want open and our detection is already applied and here we have it this is basically how you make it your own static mesh so the textures are applied to every side you don't have to apply them manually so you can just uh, okay we have it here in game it's a bit big because uh, yeah I made it a bit big so we can change the kill Okay, once you have the, to the right size, we can test it. I will skip this part because uh, I'm already on nine minutes. Okay, this is how you make it. Uh, I hope it helps you out.